Hey guys, it's AG with NursingForAll.com and today it's, it's Monday and we're going to do our Monday motivation for today. Now, the thing that I have noticed okay, all week, all week I have noticed a common theme on social media and within my friends, their common theme that they have talked about is gratefulness, okay, being grateful. Now, the funny thing about the whole talk about gratefulness and thankfulness is that it's a little early socially, okay? Usually we start talking about being grateful and being thankful around Thanksgiving, okay? I feel like that's just the natural time that we actually talk about this. So I thought it was kind of funny that lots of my friends are talking about being grateful and thankful this early in the holiday season, okay? And so I really want to kind of talk to you guys for just a second about being grateful while you're in nursing school, okay? A human truth is that I am not always happy. Okay, I'll just go ahead and put that out there. Nobody is. Okay, we, we tend to think of happiness as being a place that we arrive. And happiness is not a place that we arrive. It's an emotion. Okay? Happiness is an emotion. And that basically means that you could be happy one day and not be happy the next. Okay? Because it comes and goes. It's fluid. Okay? It means it changes. Always flowing. All right? Another human truth is that I'm not always content either, right? And I know that that's hard to say. I know we don't like to agree with that sometimes, but I will say it for myself is that I'm not always content, is that I know that I'm not always happy. And there are even times that I'm not even content with what's going on in my life, what uh, situation I'm in, okay? So I'm not always happy and I'm not always content. But there's one thing that we can't ever lose, especially if you're in nursing school, is that you cannot lose your gratefulness. You should always, always, always be grateful and thankful for something. Okay? For example, is that I hear a lot of students always talking about, man, I'll be happy when I'm out of nursing school. Well, the truth is that, yeah, you might be for a few days, maybe even for just a few minutes, but then you've got NCLEX to worry about. Okay, and usually the stress of NCLEX makes people not very happy. And then I hear people say, well, man, I'll be happy when NCLEX is over. Well, yeah, you might be for a little while. And if you haven't already locked down that great job, when you start searching for your job, you're probably not going to be very happy. And then I hear a lot of people say, well, I'll be happy when. And it's always when something. And the truth is that, yeah, you might be happy when you reach a certain point. There's always another thing that can happen in life that might not necessarily make you happy. Okay, so the truth is that you've got to find something about nursing school, about your journey that you're grateful about. Okay, my story for this is that when I was applying to nursing school, I did something that now that I'm thinking back on it was absolutely the, probably the most dumb thing I've ever done. Okay, is that when I applied to get into nursing school, I only applied to one school. Okay, that was the University of Southern Mississippi. I don't know why in the world I did that. Thinking back, I'm like, you should have given yourself some options, girlfriend. Okay, but I only applied to one school. Okay, and thankfully, I got in. Okay, I got into this program. Now, the day that I found out I got into the program, I had my mom call me. Okay, I had my letter sent home because either way, I didn't want to find out on my own. I wanted my mom to tell me, okay? And so I found out that I had gotten into this program. Now, during this time I was in class, I was in my microbiology lab and my mom called me and I came outside to see what, you know, happened. And she told me that I had gotten in. Well, I'm excited and celebrating that I had gotten into this program while one of my classmates was upset and crying that she didn't get in. You know, same exact program. And so you've got to always be thankful Guys, you're in, you're in nursing school and it's hard. I know it is. But you've got to think about that person that you know that probably has been applying and applying to different schools of nursing and can't get in. Okay? You need to just be just find something to be grateful about when it's hard. Okay? When you're not doing well, when you're stressed out, when you've got tons of assignments, I'm here. I am here. I am gonna work hard. I am grateful that I am here. Okay? You've got students who are failing out of nursing school, okay? I am here, 
I am still in this ball game. I am in nursing school. You find something to be grateful for that helps you push past how you actually feel about that day or that test or that class or even that instructor. Find something to hold on to. Hey guys, that's all I got for you. Don't lose your gratefulness. Okay? There's always something to be grateful for. And I hope you have a great day. I know this is a little, a little late. We're late in the afternoon getting this up. Um, and so if you're seeing this on a Tuesday, okay, it's perfectly fine. You can still be grateful on a Tuesday. All right? So guys, that's it. It's AG with nursingforall.com. Please make sure that you email me or that you comment on this video. We want to make sure that we're giving you what you guys want to see. All right, y'all, have a great day. Peace out, players.